All right, buckles. So you might want to clench your butt cheeks because we got alien UFOs trending worldwide. Okay, we in fact got video clips as well that I want to play for you. It's happening all over US, all over Canada. Let me know where you guys at. And this is trending. It's bigger than gaming news. Okay, I have a dedicated channel for content like this. Uh, but first of all, I want to play you this clip. Okay, so this is a UFO that got shot down yesterday. We didn't have the clip off it. Somebody uploaded in very low quality. We're in 2023. I mean, god damn it. Damn, nobody just knew that stupid thing, bruh. And there is more to this. If you're into content like this, horror content, UFO content, I got a second channel, bottom left corner. Check this out. In fact, even in Romania, there was a UFO sighting and they shot it down. I will link you that video at the end. But check this out. So we have this. Interesting. This is kind of unusual that these pilots saw different things and that is sort of, I guess, adding to the mystery of all this. Yeah, not even the pilots apparently were really able to identify what they saw. Damn. Just to take you back for a sec, on Thursday, the uh, the U.S. defense officials sent F-35 fighter jets up to try to figure out what this object was that was flying around near Alaska. Those pilots, we have oh, learned, shit. have given oh, very conflicting accounts of what they actually experienced, with some pilots saying that the, the object interfered with the plane's sensor other pilots saying that they didn't really experience that other pilots saying that when they man this is your pump the brakes we have another clip that I want to show you this is also very suspect okay so apparently reports are coming out that there are four US nuclear missile silos in the immediate area around the area the US Defense Department confirmed the presence of an unidentified flying object this has happened before y'all remember one in the one in the chat if you know who Bob Lazar is two if you do not know because we have uh, and there was commander David, I believe that's his name. He done a massive podcast, a big podcast with Joe Rogan. He shared his experience that back in 2004, he was chasing the UFO. And when he got close to it, it disappeared. And it appeared on the map like 60 seconds later. And it was at a place where they were supposed to go. So the UFO knew where they would be in the future oh, shit. and oh, it got shit. there before they could have been there and, and they don't even know because the radar would be scanning every uh, like one radar scan would happen every 60 seconds so they don't even know if it got there in 60 seconds or less it is actually wild so stuff like that has been going on for way too long are we finally gonna hear about it it's more than just chinese balloons right and let me actually play this looked here. at the object they could identify no identifiable uh, identifiable propulsion system and they did not know how it was actually staying in the air Damn cruising at that altitude of about 40,000 feet. So this has all added to the Pentagon's wariness of describing in more detail what this object actually is until they can get more information uh, through the debris that they are recovering right now. Damn. And, and check this clip out. Recovery operations are now underway and will be supported by the Canadian Armed Forces in conjunction the the sus part here is that they did show us the wreckage of the chinese balloon but they're not showing the wreckage of this they are indeed calling it ufo which could be anything right it doesn't mean aliens but that's what's trending that's the the, the first right now that's what everybody want to say that the martians are here the aliens are here lock yourselves in the basement it is definitely suspect they're not showing us that maybe they're gonna show us in the coming days maybe they're gonna tell us the truth or maybe they're gonna make it up maybe it's another distraction maybe this is a project blue beam oh no Oh, this is actually highly suspect highly suspect with the rcmp this coordinated operation will allow a further investigation into this object we have no further details about the object at this time other than of it course. appears to be a small cylindrical object and smaller than the one that was downed off the coast of north carolina Ladies and gentlemen, they also shot down, a, shot down a UFO in Romania, completely unrelated, but that is wild. Or click the video on the left, because this ghost hunter almost dies and he captures this. This is something they don't want you seeing, guys. Check these videos out and I will see you right there.